Hey! <laughs> Today, we're talking about drainage. How do you drain water from the house? But first, I'm gonna jump up. Oh man, dude. I'm gonna be a professional athlete pretty soon. Tom Brady, what's up? Problems with drainage. Water dumps right here and it just stays here. We need to redirect the water in a way where it's away from the home and it doesn't make puddles in standing water. Standing water is a bad deal because you make those landscape all nice and you don't do any drainage, you're gonna have a problem, especially when it rains. Big problem, step back and understand drainage for a little bit. Water hits the roof, okay? The roof is a very big area of the house. It goes into these little tiny gutters. So you can imagine when it's raining, like in Family Guy, it's raining sideways. A lot of water's coming down. This thing is just gushing. You've seen it, you've seen it. When you're looking out your window and you look at the gutters, it's just a How do you redirect the water? How do you redirect the drainage? Very, very simple, super simple, and it's easy money, super easy money. First, you find a low spot on the property. What's the low spot, okay? Right here is probably the lowest spot. Originally, I would have put it over there, but I couldn't because over there goes a swimming pool later on, so here we had to do it under the deck. What's the rule of thumb for digging a hole? The bigger, the better. So this one is an eight by six, a little too big. The boys are practicing with the excavator, so it is what it is. So now they're gonna put a filter fabric around it. The last thing you want is the dirt to mix with the drain rock. When that happens, no bueno, no good. And then Jose is gonna go get rock. He's gonna go get three quarter inch drain rock. Now, how do we route the water from the gutter to our drainage pit very simple you don't take the corrugated pipe this is one of the reasons we don't use black corrugated pipe because any any little force on it will crush it and check this out this is 3,000 pound crushed pvc you can put 3,000 pounds on this thing and it, the pipe will still be very strong and with the corrugated pipe you put two pounds on there the thing is crushed and then if it crushes the water is not going to flow you're going to have a problem so always go for the hard pipe you're going to have a much better product and Check this out. It's very easy to see where the water drains. All you need to do is put a level on there. This is what we want. We want the pipe going towards the pit. If you want tips like this on a more personal level, I'm gonna teach you how to do this inside Goat Game. It is an amazing group. You're gonna get tips and tricks from all over the United States from everybody on how to grow your company and how you can monetize on little things like this that you never even thought of. Drainage, really? Yeah, bro. And not everything is business advice. Not everything is doing stuff like this. You're gonna have fun, you're gonna make new friends, and I'm gonna be doing massive giveaways. I'm gonna be giving away that ditch switch right there. Look at this. That one. It's happening, I ordered a new one, and this one I'm gonna give to one of you. It's gonna be very, very cool. All the details in the description down below. So, I'm gonna invite a bunch of people out, and we're gonna do last one to take their hand off the ditch switch wins it. Do you really, 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 really want this thing? That's what I want in the competition. I want people that are just completely like, oh, dude, I gotta have this thing. I will hold my hand here until I can't breathe anymore. That's the who I want. That's who I want. Very excited. Now, we're at the pit. How big does the pit need to be? How wide does it need to be? Right now, the boys, they kind of overkilled it a little bit, but the bigger the better. There is gonna be a lot of water going here. And we're also gonna have water from the big planter going here as well. So they did an eight by six overkill, I would say. I think a four by four or three by three is ideal, but is what it is. Now, there is some special fabric that you have to buy. It's called filter fabric, but it's not very thick. All it does is prevent the mud and the dirt from getting inside where the rock is. It's this stuff right here. This is the stuff. You can get this at Home Depot. It's not that expensive, it's very cheap. And it's soft, yes. But all it's doing is preventing the mud from getting inside. There is some thicker stuff you can use, however the water will drain slower. And I had a drainage expert tell me that this stuff is the right stuff to use compared to the big, thick filter fabric that you see, big black rolls. First, what they're gonna do is run all the pipes inside some connection pieces that you have to see. Here's all you need for a drainage job. Now we're using three inch because the water is not gonna be that crazy, so it's not the big deal. Here we have glue. This is the piece that connects to the gutter. This is a coupler to connect two three inch pipes. An elbow to go from the gutter to the straight line. We have a 45 
maybe for that angle right there. We got a T, and then we got a Y. Bam, that's all you need, done. So all these little pieces you're gonna use to connect the drainage from here into the pit. Once that's here, you're good to go. All the connections are done, they're fixed. Bam, we're good to go. Blimey, what is this? Hit the bell, man. You can win some free money. Be stupid not to. Ding, ding, ding. This is the problem that sometimes you will have. This gutter is by itself. There's nothing else here. Now, do you run this gutter to that pit or do you run this gutter into its own pit? Now, if there was a driveway here, I would run it to its own pit. However, since this is our job, our complete total control of where this thing goes, I'm gonna run this to that pit because it'll be easier. Yes, we'll use more pipe, However, all the water will be in two locations in the house. One in the front, one in the back, done. Downspout connector, pipe, 90, pipe, 45, pipe, 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 into the pit. Literally, water gets drained here, boom. That side, water gets drained on the other side. The idea is you never wanna see anything after it's done. The drainage is actually invisible. You won't see it. Everything is underground. Very organized, very nice. So now Carlos is bringing all the drain rock. He's gonna put it inside here, level it out, and then we take a filter fabric and we put it on top, put dirt over it, drainage is done. Here's a little time-lapse action for you guys from start to finish. So today I had five guys here. They did the drainage, they did all the pipe. Labor plus drainage was around 2,500 bucks. So they did all that today. However, they also excavated the entire property, excavated the driveway, loaded up the trucks, got the rebar down, uh, organized everything, planned a little bit, but mostly regraded everything, leveled everything out, got rid of all the concrete, got rid of all the sticks, the dirt, and loaded three semi trucks. We have one more semi truck to go and that's it. And then the base rock comes. This is how you do drainage. Leave in the comments down below what you think. Subscribe, hit the like, LFG.